Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to The Photo Show. I've had a lot of questions recently asking about custom settings on the camera, exactly what they are and how you can set one up for yourself. So what I'm going to do in today's episode is take you through exactly what a custom setting is, show you how to set one up and then save it to your camera so you can use it whenever you need it. Remember, if you like what you see on The Photo Show, please comment, like and subscribe in the boxes below. Let's get on and set up a custom setting for your camera. So what we're going to look at today is how you can set up a custom setting uh, on your camera using the U1 and U2 uh, choices on the mode dial. Now there are a number of reasons why you might want to do this. You may have a setting that you use quite often that you, you just want to keep on the camera. And that's what I've done with this camera here. I've actually got a setting that I use when I'm filming video. Um, I just set up a basic setting that I've saved as the, the U1 setting. So if I show you that and then I'll show you how to save a, a custom setting for yourself. So if I put this into live view now, the camera at the moment is on manual. So if I wanted to change any of the settings now, I could actually change the settings now. But I'm gonna switch it round to the U1 setting. So we're now on the U1 setting. And if we open that up now, this is a basic setting that I've put in the camera so that if I'm gonna start shooting video, I don't have to go through all of the palaver of setting up all of the different settings to shoot video. I've got a very uh, basic setting here that then I can just adjust as needs be. So within this setting, I've got the shutter speed sh set at 1 50th of a second. I've got the F number set at um, 7.1 and I've got the ISO set at 400. The, way, the reason I've set this is it's quite a middling kind of setting that if, if I turn the camera on um, and I want to just shoot some video as quickly as possible, I'm not going to be that far off of most lighting situations that I can adjust to. So you can see here that the, the, the lighting situation for, for um, this image here is a little bit dark. So let's say that I wanted to uh, adjust the ISO. So if I hold down the ISO button, and raise the ISO, say to 800. And now if I wanted to save this settings, what I need to do now is go into my menu. So I, I hit the menu button. And so we wanna come across to the setup menu, which is the fourth one down here. It's the little spanner or wrench icon here. If we come across into here, you can see we've now, we're now into the, the choices that we've got. And the second one down here we have is save user settings. So if I press OK, now it's asking us where would we like to save that? Would we like to save that to U1 or U2? So let's save that to U1, hit OK. It's asking me if I want to save the settings to U1, save. So now if I go back to the live view, let's come out of live view. Let's put the camera back into manual mode. And let's bring it round to U1. U1, open it back up again. And there we go, U1 has automatically put us back into the settings that I chose to save under U1. So I'm actually gonna resave this again because I want to change that ISO back to the way it was. So let's come back down to ISO 400, let's do it again, let's go to menu. We wanna come down to setup menu with a little wrench, across into that, save user settings, save to U1, save settings, okay. And now that setting is now saved again as my U1 setting on the dial. So let's say you wanted to do a, a different uh, setup. Let's say you wanted to do something for a uh, portrait. So I quite often shoot portraits. So I'm gonna put the camera now back into manual and put it onto a camera setting on the live view. So let's say for example, I wanted to save a setting here that I maybe use for portraits. So let's have a look what would I do? I would, for start, I would up my Shutter speed to 125th. I would lower my F number to F4, and I would keep the ISO at ISO 100. 
So this is, this is just a setting that if I was going to shoot portraits, I would, you know, just, just a very quick starting point. So I would save this as a user setting so that next time I came to shoot a portrait like that, I just put it onto the user setting and I would be at a good starting point. So let's say that I'm happy with my shutter speed and my aperture and my ISO. I can now go in and change other options. If I press the I button here, I can now change whether we're on the DX crop mode. I'm quite happy with that. Let's say we wanted to change it from fine to shooting raw. We'll do that. Um, you could then change your picture control whether you want it standard, neutral, vivid, I'm going to keep it on standard. Active D-lighting I would keep off, so I'd keep that as there. Remote control I would keep off as well. But all of these things you could change. If you wanted to change the, the picture control or the active D-lighting, you could change these settings. Monitor brightness, we'll leave it as it is. So let's say I'm happy with those settings now. Unpress the I button. Now what I want to do is I want to save those settings to the U2 um, option on my mode dial. So once again, we're going to press menu and we're going to come down to our setup menu, which is again the little spanner and the little wrench. Come across, save user settings, hit OK. And this time I'm going to save it to the U2 option. So save to U2, save settings. That's now save that to there. So let's come back onto live view with the camera. So now I've got the camera back into manual. Let me adjust a few things. Let's say I, I, I decided that I wanted you know, the ISO to be different or the aperture to be different or the shutter speed to be different. So now I've made a bunch of changes, but if I now turn the dial on the top round to the U2 setting, you can see now that it's immediately jumped back to the settings that I saved. The uh, shutter speed of 125th, the F number of F4, and the ISO of 100. So back round to manual, and it's on 60th at F8 at ISO 320. Round to the U2 setting, and there it saved the settings that I put in and saved under the U2 settings. So that's basically it. That's how you save a custom setting for your camera. You may have different options. You may be shooting sport, and so you want something where you've got a, 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 a setup that works just for the sport you're shooting. You may be shooting wildlife. You may be shooting portraits. But you can set up a custom-made setting for yourself and store them on the camera under the U1 and U2 settings that you can come back to time and time again. And you can always adjust them. You can always resave them. But that's basically it. That's how you set up a custom setting on your camera and save them under the U1 and U2 settings. So hopefully that's helped. I'm Dave Vickers. This is The Photo Show. Thanks for watching. See you next time.